welcome back to Rainbow Plant Life. Or if you're new, hi, my name is Nisha. Today I'm gonna to be doing a Trader Joe's vegan grocery haul, and then I'm gonna show you some really easy meal ideas to make with the groceries. The reason I wanted to make this video is because I know a lot of you are looking for easy ways to transition into a vegan lifestyle, or you want vegan recipes that are comforting and familiar and don't require a lot of crazy exotic ingredients. And that's why Trader Joe's is perfect because they sell a lot of fun, pre-made, comforting, familiar dishes that are vegan or vegan friendly. I tried to keep most of the items I bought to be relatively healthy, but I was tempted to just buy a bunch of their snacks and desserts and basically just stuff my face with them on camera and then tell you how delicious everything was. But I decided to go a route that's a little healthier because I know that most people are looking to limit the amount of processed foods they eat and also to give you a realistic sense of the kinds of easy meals you can make with these groceries. But of course, if you wanna watch me stuff my face with desserts and junk food, I would be happy to oblige. Just let me know in the comments below. All right, let's head to Trader Joe's here in Brooklyn and get started with our grocery shopping. I am back from Trader Joe's and this is bag number one. The first thing we have is this organic Tuscan kale. And I love this stuff because, well, I'm vegan and vegans love kale. Stereotype is true. Um, but also because it's pre-chopped, pre-washed, ready to eat. Um, that saves me a lot of time so that I don't have to wash my head of kale, put it in the salad spinner, chop it up. Another sort of pre-packaged salad idea is this organic broccoli slaw. And this way I get the health benefits of broccoli and still get to be lazy. And it's great for a salad or a coleslaw or you can even stir fry it. Some cilantro, I put cilantro and parsley in all my dishes because it adds some flavor. We got this bag of baby avocados. Uh, I adore these because they're adorable. Um, but also because they're kind of like single serving because they're small. And unlike a regular avocado, where like you slice it up and you put half in your fridge and then you hope it doesn't go brown, but then when you get home it does go brown. These you can just have one at lunch or dinner and there's no browning. I also got these Greek olives that's a medley of different kinds. One of my favorite ways to treat myself is when I come home from a long day of work, I have a little bowl of olives with a glass of wine before dinner. It kind of just feels like you're sitting on the beach in the south of France. Um, Except, you know, you're sitting in your apartment in New York City. So, you know, the same thing. I also got this organic hummus. Of course, you can make your own hummus because it's really easy, but it's easier to buy it. So that's what I did. I love sauerkraut because it's fermented, so it's really good for your gut. And my favorite way to use sauerkraut actually is to put it in a big kale salad with a bunch of seeds and nuts and a tahini dressing. And we'll make something similar to that in this video. Then we have this organic sprouted tofu. Um, I'm vegan, so I love tofu. Sprouted tofu tends to have more nutrients and protein than tofu, and it's got a firmer texture and less water to drain, so it's really easy to eat. The last item in here are these corn tortillas. They're made with just white corn, water, and lime, so no oil, no flour, they're gluten-free, and I use them for tacos, obviously. All right, let's see what we have in bag number two some organic garbanzo beans or chickpeas. I use those all the time. These are dolma, which are stuffed grape leaves. They're really popular in Middle Eastern cuisine and Mediterranean food. Often they're stuffed with meat, but these are vegan and they're stuffed with rice, uh, spices, and onions. Raw almond butter, it's raw, so it's good for you, but it's also really creamy. I go through about a jar of almond butter a week, so I'm always looking for the cheapest variety possible. And so far, this is the cheapest one I found. It's $5.99 at Trader Joe's in New York City, which is a deal. On to some snack foods. These are roasted plantain chips. They're made with plantains, sunflower oil, and salt. 
and I love plantains, but I find that I hardly ever cook them. And so in order to get my plantain fix, I will just keep snacking on these. Ooh, yes, soft baked snickerdoodle cookies. These are 100% vegan and gluten-free, and they're so good. They're like thick and pillowy. I might just have to have one right now. Oh, there's already some missing. I wonder who ate this. So good. Look how cute and thick and like they're like pillows. Speaking of dessert, we have chocolate non dairy frozen yogurt. No, frozen dessert, sorry. It's vegan, it's made with coconut milk, and they had a couple different flavors. I chose chocolate because I am chocolate. Then we have these Akmak crackers. They are really simple whole wheat crackers and you can put any kind of toppings on them you like. Baby beets, they're ready to eat and they're sold next to like the lettuce and the other vegetables. And I love them because you can have beets in no time. In contrast, if you make them at home, they can take like an hour to roast in the oven. To be honest, they're not as delicious as roasting beets at home, but if you're looking for something quick and convenient, this is a great idea. Another pre-packaged item that I love are the steamed lentils, and they're perfect just on their own or in salads, pita bread, wraps. Uh, I talk a little bit about them in an earlier video on where do vegans get their protein from. You can find that video right here. This is a box of brown rice. It could not be simpler to make. All you do is take out a little pouch and put it in the microwave for a few minutes and you have rice in no time. Fully cooked, ready to eat falafel. Sorry, they're not ready to eat. You have to microwave them. But they're really good. They're fully vegan. Frozen food is usually not very good. It's dry, it's bland. Uh, but these are actually really good and I'm really excited to have them. Finally. Finally. Okay, our last item are these Just Beets chips. It's literally just beets, so it's like a very literal title. Um, the only ingredient is beets, and they're dehydrated. That's what the bag says, that makes sense. If you usually go for potato chips because you like a crunchy snack, these are really crunchy, so they're like a healthy alternative to potato chips. All right, that is everything I got from Trader Joe's. Now that we've talked about it, let's make some really easy recipes out of these ingredients. The first easy meal we'll make from our groceries is everything but the kitchen sink salad. We'll start with the bagged Tuscan kale, along with the broccoli slaw mix, and that will be the base of our salad. I'm also adding sauerkraut for probiotics, as well as some olives. Then I'm going to chop up some of that sprouted tofu into cubes. I'm also adding a half cup of steamed lentils, the baby avocado, and some baby beets. Finally, I'm adding a tahini salad dressing made with equal parts tahini, lemon juice, and warm water. I'm also adding some freshly cracked pepper, salt, and garlic powder to taste. Mix that all together and you have a hearty, healthy salad in no time. Our next Trader Joe's meal is a Mediterranean falafel bowl. First, we'll start with the frozen organic brown rice. All you have to do is microwave it in that pouch and it's ready to eat. Then we're going to add the frozen falafel. Again, you just microwave it for a minute or two and it's ready. Then I'm going to add some of the stuffed grape leaves or dolmas, as well as some olives. Then I'm adding two or three tablespoons of the organic hummus from Trader Joe's, as well as a generous amount of tahini. Sprinkle on some minced parsley and you are ready to go. You can also build a really fun snack platter using the ingredients I bought. Here we have beet chips, plantain chips, and akmat crackers, and I'm serving it with the organic hummus from Trader Joe's, and I've just added a little bit of chili flakes for spice. Of course I saved the best part for last, dessert, and we're having snickerdoodle ice cream sandwiches. First we'll stir the raw almond butter, then we'll spread it over those soft baked snickerdoodle cookies, and then we'll top that with the vegan chocolate ice cream. All you have to do is sandwich them together and you have a delicious decadent dessert. Well, that wraps up this video. I want to thank you for watching it. And if you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.